is. Okay, so it seems like it just is drama, drama, drama already in this pregnancy. I just, oh, I don't know. I, I say that this child is going to be a problem child from the get-go and is going to give me many sleepless nights. And it's not even born and it's already doing all that. So, um, so let's see. My last video was a really good one because we had our ultrasound and um, we got to see the baby and the heartbeat and everything was looking good and I found out I have a cyst but it's not a big deal so um, that's I was having a pain and that's what that was from. I was like okay yay no big deal and I was just you know chugging along and enjoying the pregnancy and doing great. I haven't had any morning sickness not any whatsoever knock on wood Let's knock on some wood because I am enjoying that I kept saying oh you know wait till after our anniversary maybe it can hit then and you know we had a good dinner that night and like, oh but we're doing um, a nice dinner out with my sister maybe after that it can hit and then I was like oh after Easter well now we're after Easter so I'm like totally out of postponing the morning sickness and why it shouldn't come I say now maybe because it needs to stay away till Mother's Day, and by Mother's Day I'll be closer to nearing my the end of my first trimester, so maybe it's just not gonna hit at all. I don't know. I'm I'm enjoying the pregnancy, but um, Saturday, this last Saturday, out of nowhere, I had a whole bunch of bright red blood. Oh, freaked me out. I haven't had any bleeding in the pregnancy yet. I had had some brown spotting, but it was always minimal. I mean, spotting. This was bleeding. And I was home by myself. Well, my, our son was upstairs sleeping, taking a nap. Not that he would have been much comfort had he been up. But my husband had ran out to grab us something to eat. And I tried calling him. I tried calling him ten times. Didn't answer his phone. So I was in a complete panic by the time he came home. Um, I called my RE's office and was able to leave a message for the on-call nurse and she called me back and you know she tried to reassure me that it could be nothing um, to monitor it if it got worse if I started soaking through pads really quickly then I needed to call back and to get a hold of my doctor and see if he wanted me to come in if they come in on the weekend or if they'd send me to the ER. And um, she said, you know, if it's a miscarriage, there's nothing they can do anyways, which is what I assume, but it's, you know, it's scary to just hear anything about a miscarriage, even though I'm already thinking it, and whatever. So, it, it didn't get worse, it pretty much stayed the same, and then, um, I don't know what time it was, pretty late in the evening, I went in the bathroom, and when I went, there was, like, this big old clot that came out. So, I know it sounds pretty morbid, but I'm like staring at the toilet paper, like dissecting it, trying to see if I can see like a little baby in there. And I know that sounds horrible, but it's the reality. You, you panic and you're doing all this crazy stuff, but um, the bleeding stopped after the clot came out. So, I didn't know if that was a good thing or a bad thing. And I didn't have any cramping through it, so that's why I'm... Like, I have endometriosis, so I'm used to really hardcore periods of horrible cramps, and so to see blood without cramps was just weird, but it kind of gave me hope that maybe it was nothing, because I've heard of miscarriages, you have horrible cramps, so I, I didn't know, it kind of ruined my Easter, but yet in a way it was good Easter was the next day, because it kept me busy, so I don't know, it just, I got through Sunday, um, I told my mom, and I told my mother-in-law, because I saw them both that day, and they were devastated and concerned, I mean, as you can imagine. Um, so I called the doctor's office first thing Monday morning, expecting to come in for an ultrasound that day. Well, they said I could, but I had to go to a town that's over two hours away. And it was either that or wait till today, Tuesday, and I could go to my normal office, which is about... 45 minutes to an hour away and my doctor would be there because yesterday 
my no doctors are at the office, just nurses, and a nurse can't perform it because if they see something wrong, then they don't have a doctor there to handle the situation. So I chose to wait till today because I didn't want to make the drive, and especially because it's like bad news and to hear this horrible news. I was kind of scared to go in and hear bad news. So I waited for today and had a first morning appointment, thank goodness. And my doctor was really, really sweet. He's like, you know, asked me a little bit about the bleeding, but then like got right to it. Let's do the ultrasound. He's like, right away, I just want to tell you, I see the baby, I see the heartbeat. Relax. And I was like, oh my God, thank you. You know, it was such a relief to hear that because I was, I, I kind of hadn't given my chance, given myself a chance to really like brace myself for that moment of bad news yet as he's like inserting the wand and, and like, you know, trying to process everything in case of bad news. I really wasn't able to get to that point because right away he said it was good news. So, such a relief. Such a relief. And, um, he turned on the Doppler and this time we could hear the heartbeat and it was really loud. Actually, the monitor, I think, was turned way down there. So, everything was quiet but I could hear it, like, beating away. And we got more pictures. So, um, that's so right there's the baby, right there, which totally looks like a turtle swimming. I, Clint and I decided it's totally a turtle in there, definitely a turtle. I don't know how the baby is sitting there, what what part of the baby that is, but it's turtle. And we love our little turtle. And it's now 10, depending on which measurement they, it's like either 10.2 or 10.6 millimeters. So it has doubled in size. I can't believe how much bigger it is. Let's see. Let's, let's compare. here. I've got last week's here. So I am measuring at seven weeks one day or seven weeks two days, he said. And I'm technically seven weeks, like three or four days. So he said he was really happy. But, okay, so this is last week's. See how tiny the baby is? And then this, oh, I have to and that's this week's. Exactly a week's difference because I was on, went on a Tuesday last time and I just am shocked at how much bigger. And the heart is beating at 141 beats per minute. So last time it was 109. So it's definitely getting up there and I just, I just feel ooh, so much better after going in. My doctor was really sweet and told me, you know, his, if his wife bled, he made her come in and do an ultrasound. So totally don't feel bad. I said, there's no way I was going to make it till like next Thursday, meaning like the 5th. And he said, no, there's no way. I wouldn't have wanted you to. So, um, they didn't see where the bleeding was coming from. No idea why I was bleeding. It's just one of those things. He pretty much ordered me to take it extra easy. Not necessarily bed rest, but super extra easy. So, that's what I'm going to do. Um, I don't really have anything other than that. You know, because that's not enough. But I'm hoping my next update is like just a video. I have no issues. Um, maybe I'll make a video before my eight week one next week. If not, it should be a good one and just smooth sailing. This, this child needs to let me rest a little bit and quit being so problematic already. But, um,. I am going to try to get in the habit of making more consistent videos and pregnancy vlogs, which again just sounds weird to be saying pregnancy vlogs. I can't, it's, it's hard to leave. I'm already at this point, like, I'm seven and a half weeks pregnant. Ah, oh, it's, it's crazy, but I will talk to y'all soon and try to catch up with all of your videos. I'm starting to watch them and it's, I feel bad because I haven't had time to watch them all, so I'm trying trying to get back in and swing things and everything, but love to all of you.